From around the world, this is the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. It's time once again for America's favorite show, The Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd. Brought to you by DrFloyd.com. We begin this episode aboard the time and spaceship of Dr. Steve. We find the evil mastermind streaking through the time and space stream with a sock-shaped assistant, Fidget, at the controls. They're right behind us, Fidget. Floor it. All right, I'm in the middle now. Give it up, Dr. Steve. We got you this time. Just stop and give us back the historical artifact. I'll never surrender to the likes of you, Floyd. You know I'm gonna catch you anyway, Steve, so you might as well- That's enough of that noise. Fidget, we need to find a place to hide this historical artifact. It needs to be someplace deep and dark that Floyd will never be able to find. Oh, uh, you mean like a cave? Yes, like a cave. Fidget, wait a minute. Uh, yeah. No, wait a minute. What? No, actually wait one whole minute. What do you mean? Fidget, do you have no concept of time? Wait one minute. Fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty. Okay, Fidget, make a time jump to the northeastern flank of the Medicine Lake Volcano in Northern California. The year 1925. What's there? What's there? Only the most perfect place to hide this historical artifact we've stolen. <laughs> As Fidget punches in the coordinates to make a time jump, let's check in on the ship of none other than the world's most brilliant scientist and our hero, Dr. Floyd. We find Dr. Floyd along with his young protege Dr. Grant and their faithful robot companion Chips as they currently speed along behind Dr. Steve and Fisher. Hey, Nibbit, they just made a time jump. Chips, can you track them? Oh, give me one moment, Dr. Floyd. Oh, we've got to get that historical artifact back, Dr. Floyd. Dr. Steve running off with it could dangerously upset history. I know, Dr. Grant, I know. We'll get it back. Chips, any luck? Yes, they've made a jump to 1925. Where did they go? They are in Northern California, near the northeastern flank of the Medicine Lake Volcano. He's going to hide the artifact. Oh, how do you know? Fluid. Because that area of California is known as the Lava Beds National Monument. How could he hide something in a lava field? He can because that park is the site of the largest concentration of lava tubes in the United States. He'll have an endless number of caves to hide it in. Oh, no. Oh, no is right, Dr. Grant. Chips, set a course to follow him. Oh, wait a second, Dr. Floyd. What? No, wait one second. Okay, strip in, here we go. In a mere matter of minutes, our heroes are standing in the middle of the Lava Beds National Monument in the year 1925. Why do you think he made a jump to 1925? Well, this is the year the Lava Beds became a national monument, Dr. Grant. He probably just read that on Wikipedia or something and made a time jump here. He certainly picked a swell place to hide something. Oh, the train here is very rugged. It sure is, Chips. In 1873, during the Modoc War, a group of 50 Native Americans from the Modoc tribe hid out here. They defended their camp from an opposing army of 400 with the help of this rugged terrain. Oh, well, how are we going to find Dr. Steve? I should be able to pick up the electrical pulses from his ship. I just need a minute. As Chip scans for electrical pulses, let's go to a cave deep underground where we find Dr. Steve and Fidget bumping along in the dark with only a small pen light to guide their way. Oh, we should have brought a lantern or something. Uh. Oh, hush, Fidget. I can't think of everything. Would it kill you to come up with an idea now and then? Hmm. Now, did you bring along those three packages I asked you to get? Uh, yeah, Mom. What are they? 
<laughs> oh, they're just little surprises in case Dr. Floyd has decided to follow us. Leave one of them here and keep moving. We've got to drop the other two and get deeper into the catacombs to hide this artifact. <laughs> As Dr. Steve and Fidget worm their way deeper underground, let's see if our heroes have found any leads as to where the two villains are currently hiding. How many caves are out here, Dr. Floyd? Oh, tons, Dr. Grant. There's the Mushpot Cave that's got some amazing rock formations in it. Then there's the two ice caves called the Maryland Skull Caves. Both have ice floors and go deep into the earth. Wow. Then there's the big painted and symbol bridge caves that have markings left by Native Americans in them. Golly. But I'm just hoping that he's not down in the... Uh... Dr. Floyd! I found their ship! It's parked outside the entrance of the... Skull Cave? No. Merrill Cave? No. The Painted Cave, Bridge Cave, or Mushpot Cave? No, 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 no! They are in the... Don't tell me. The catacombs. Yeah. Zagnabbit! Why are the catacombs bad, Dr. Floyd? Because it's 6,000 feet of cave, Dr. Grant, complete with pits, balconies, multiple levels, crawl spaces, and a bunch of twisting corridors that branch off in a bunch of different directions. It's so easy to get lost in there. Well, that's where they are! Let's go! Seconds later, our heroes are standing at the mouth of the catacombs cave. Because the catacombs branch off into several directions, Dr. Floyd has decided that the crew will need to split up in order to explore the caverns of the cave. Okay, Chips, you take the passage to the left. Right, Dr. Floyd. No, left. Yes, right. No, Dr. Grant's taking the passage on the right. You take the one on the left. Okay, Dr. Floyd, okay, I got it. Right. No, you... <sighs> Okay, Dr. Grant, you take the one on the right. Right. I thought I had the one on the right. Will you knock it off? Chips, you're going that way, and Dr. Grant, you're going that way. Right. Oh, but... Okay, I'm going to take the cavern in the middle. Are you going to be okay by yourself, Dr. Floyd? I'll be fine, I'm sure. It's only a big, dark, uh, deep, scary cave. <laughs> I can handle it. <clears throat> Now, has everyone got their lanterns? Yep. And your copies of Guide to Animals You'll Meet at the Lava Beds? Yep. Okay, we're all set. Dr. Steve, we know you're in there. We're coming to get you. And with that, Dr. Floyd, Dr. Grant, and Chips begin working their way into the cave after Dr. Steve. Will our heroes be able to find Dr. Steve? Will they be able to retrieve the stolen historical artifact from him? And what horribly disgusting creatures could be lurking in the depths of the cave other than, you know, Dr. Steve and Fidger? Hey. Find out next time on the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd. Okay, Dr. Floyd fans, now it's your turn to control the radio adventures of Dr. Floyd. Which of our three heroes do you want to follow into the cave after Dr. Steve? Will you choose the young protege, Dr. Grant? Or how about the faithful robot companion, Chips? Or maybe your choice is the world's most brilliant scientist, Dr. Floyd himself. Head on over to www.drfloyd.com and vote in the poll on the main page. The winning hero will have their episode played next week on the radio adventures of Dr. Floyd. Hurry though, you only have until Sunday Sunday night to cast your vote. Get on over to www.drfloyd.com and vote now. That's www.doctorfloyd.com. Vote today. Episode number 605 of the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd starred Mora Quirk as Chips. www.moraquirk.com. Music for this episode by Jody Whitesides, www.jodywhitesides.com. This episode was written by Grant Pachoco. Visit the Lava Beds National Monument online and see pictures of some of the caves at www.nps.gov forward slash L-A-B-E. Once again, that's www.nps.gov forward slash L-A-B-E. Join the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd mailing list only at www.drfloyd.com slash join. That's www.doctorfloyd.com forward slash join. Leave us a voicemail at area code 818-332-3053. Episode number 605 of the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd is copyright 2007 Dr. Floyd Industries. All rights reserved. 
Clear the airwaves! Clear the airwaves! It's now time for Dr. Floyd's Imagination Nation Rangers secret message for you members of the Dr. Floyd Imagination Nation. Remember, kids, only official radio adventures of Dr. Floyd Imagination Nation Rangers can decode Dr. Floyd's secret message with the secret decoder ring available only from www.imaginationranger.com. All right, grab your secret decoder rings and a pencil and paper and prepare to set your imagination to fun. Remember, Dr. Floyd is counting on you. And here is the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd Imagination Nation Ranger secret message for episode number 605, Cave In. 20, 3, 16, 14, 3, 18, 17, 19, 3, 20, 6, Two, three, fifteen, nine, seven, four, seven, twenty, two, three, one, twenty, five, eighteen, eight, twelve. And that was a message from Dr. Floyd himself to all his Imagination Nation Rangers. You can join Dr. Floyd's Imagination Nation and become an Imagination Nation Ranger only at www.imaginationranger.com. And until next time, set your imagination to fun! Hey, Fidget. Yeah. Did you see this article about the guy who bartered an iPhone for sponsorship of his podcast? No. Yeah, he said he would trade sponsorship of an episode of his podcast for the price of an iPhone. Oh, yes, it did work. In fact, he's got two iPhones so far. Way. So I began thinking, what if we were to do that? But we'll do it even better. I'd like to offer sponsorship of three episodes of the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd, complete with the cast doing custom commercials for your product or service, a complete Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd autographed CD library, a year membership in the Imagination Nation, and a one-of-a-kind handmade fidget replica doll, all for the price of an iPhone. <coughs> If you're interested in this little barter, send an email to me at drsteve at drfloyd.com. That's D-R-S-T-E-V-E at D-O-C-T-O-R-F-L-O-Y-D dot com. Oh, it'll work, Fidget. And when it does, I might let you look at my new iPhone. But you can't touch it. Ha 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 ha. Listen to classical and brand new audio dramas through the Mutual Audio Network. Subscribe through Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Spotify, or iHeartRadio today. There's eight different podcasts, one for each day of the week and genre. And the Mutual Audio Network broadcast feed so you don't miss a day of your favorite shows. Subscribe to Mutual Audio tonight. Good night!